Hello guys, uh, let's talk about machine learning. So in this lecture, we will specifically be targeting what is machine learning and what does term learning means. So uh, machine learning uh, by definition means ability of algorithms to learn from the data. So it's an automation uh, in which we train our machine learning models and the models are trained on a specific data catering to a specific domain. And through that learning, through that knowledge, the algorithm will be able to perform the task automatically. Well, there is nothing magical about it. It's all uh, mathematics and stats going on behind, which we'll be learning in the subsequent uh, lectures in the coming series. Now, one important question is with machine learning coming into the picture, is there any question that the role of programmers will reduce? Well, the answer to this is uh, absolutely no. The programming is as much as required as we were using is before because programming has a very key role in building of machine learning algorithms because in machine learning algorithms also while building them uh, we are working with the mathematics and statistics uh, uh, like domain in which we need to program it it could be any language matplotlib uh, sorry matlab python r depending on the uh, developer's choice but the key difference between uh, normal programming, the conventional programming that we are doing and machine learning that's I'm stressing upon. So I'll explain you this thing. So first let's talk about the conventional programming. Versus the machine learning. Now, guys, in case of conventional programming, what happens, for example, any platform like Geeks, so Geeks, Code, Chef, Hacker Rank, what happens is you are given few test cases or the uh, problem statement where you are given input X and your output Y. Now, for example, in case of input, I give you numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, 11. So let's say I have given you array having numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 11 and the output coming out of it is 4. And similarly, I give you a few more uh, scenarios or the uh, test cases in the problem statement. Now the target for you in conventional programming is you know the that task that you want to perform and there you try to prepare a logic through which you you are telling your program what you require from your program to do. So the task is you put in some numbers in the array and the program will return you the number of even numbers inside that array. So there you write a logic. Now the, that logic, for example, okay. So that you will define the logic here that whatever the X be. So you define a logic, whatever the X be, uh, the, uh, you check for every input that you have in x you check if x of i is divisible by 2 or not uh, sorry just the division or x mod 2 is equal equivalent to 0 or not if it is completely divisible by 2 your number is even and then you count those numbers and finally you will return your y so again i'm stressing in case of conventional programming you can prepare the logic by yourself this logic is the key term here so we can prepare the logic by ourselves and then we program that logic so that the task can be automated here. Also, the task is being automated. Now, where comes now? Here comes the difference in case of machine learning. This logic is the key thing that you will not provide to your program. It is your program that will come up with that logic, which will solve your problem statement, right? So now keep, uh, like stress upon it. Let's say I give you some images of uh, here. My input will be some images and these images could be for different, different animals. Let's say cat, dog, elephant. Now I have given you, let's say hundred images for cat, hundred images for dog, hundred images for elephant. And the task for us here is to prepare an ML model or a program to which if in future we pass on any image, that program should be able to tell whether this particular image belongs to a cat or to a dog or to an elephant. Now, for you, it's very easy to understand the difference between a cat, a dog and an elephant. Like an elephant will be having a trunk, 
uh, in case of a dog uh, or cat it is depending on the size of face or size of the body but for you to tell this thing to a machine learning model is difficult you cannot tell that logic or another case another uh, case which will be more suitable for you because here you can think of some if else cases let's say you are build, you are building a program for a fruit market where you need to detect whether that particular fruit is a apple is a orange or it is a lemon now it could be possible that your orange is also a green color apple is also a green color and your lemon is also a green color both are round so now in this case for you it is very easy to detect what this fruit is depending on the texture the size uh, by touching that uh, fruit you can easily detect but giving the same logic preparing up or the programming the same logic is not possible for us in that case you would need to write so many if else condition and yet there will be some scenarios in which your uh, logic will fail now guys in this particular scenario you are not giving logic by yourself but you are giving n number of input and output so images of those veggies i am giving as an input and as a output i will be giving the labels to my program so i am giving let's say 1000 images of apple 1000 images of orange 1000 images of label uh, lemon and also i am telling my program that this image belongs to this particular veggie now your machine learning model will work on your input data as well as the output data that means the images of the veggies as well as the label of those images and it will try to come up with the logic that will define that this image belongs to a particular label so here is the difference in case of conventional programming we write the logic and give it to program and then it gets automated but in case of machine learning because we cannot write uh, the logic by ourselves we cannot program that logic by ourselves that's why we prepare some mathematical or statistical equations which is actually a machine learning model which thinks of this particular logic by itself so this logic is not provided by programmer but it is thought by the system or the program so here also we need programmers in fact we need very good programmers to work on machine learning algorithms because they will be the one who will write that algorithm and then that algorithm will go on and think about that particular logic which will work on that particular problem statement so that's the difference between conventional programming and a machine learning conventional programming you provide logic but in machine learning the program provides the logic to us or defines the logic for itself by its own now guys another important thing in this machine learning what this learning means what actually that machine learning is because understanding this learning term is very important for us there is no magic going on behind it's pure maths that's what we calling it as a machine learning algorithm so where comes the difference just look into this image that i am showing to you so we'll take a very general scenario uh, common to all of us that is examinations so what happen in case of an examination so let's say i am preparing for my physics boards exam so when i am preparing what i have done either i am going i am going to a coaching classes or i am going to school attending my lectures or i am preparing it by myself but what is common here the common here is the notes that we have from where we are studying or the books where we are studying we are doing question and answers here we are looking solving so many different problem statements or questions here and corresponding to these questions we have the answers also so ultimately we are trying to build the concept here the the best like the clearer the concepts are the higher you will score or more questions you will be able to solve so while learning 
we go through the questions as well as through the answers. We go with the formulas, concepts, like how this answer is coming in this particular question. That is our task here. Right? But now, so at the time of learning, we build the concepts or in technical terms, if we have to say, we are building up the logic here. Like how we are getting this particular uh, answer from this particular question. Now, for the preparation of exam, what we are doing, we have learned a uh, few concepts. So we join, a, uh, let's say, a test series or we solve it by ourselves. Now, while practicing, we are taking only the questions and we are trying to solve them. And at the end of exam, we get our score, how much accurate we were in answering those questions. If we are very much accurate, then we are confident for the exam. If we don't score well, then we again build those concepts. Again, go through the question and answers that are given in your notes. Correct? So ultimately, we are building the concepts. Whole target is building up the concept when you are training or when you are learning. So in technical term, at this phase where you are given question and answer, you are actually training. And during your training, you have both question as well as answers. And the target is that you build your logic. Correct? When you go for the preparation of exam, like when you are joining a test series or uh, solving the test papers by yourself, you are doing the validation. And here also you have the input as well as the output, but you take input, solve and compare it with the output. Done. At the validation, if you think you are good enough, you go for the test. If you think you are not good enough, you prepare for it again. So again, the training process goes on. Now, once the training and validation is done, we are confident that we can give the exam. That means our brain is trained. Our brain is trained with that particular concept. And because our brain is so well trained, we are trying to, we could solve all the questions. We went for the examination. Now, what will happen in case of examination? In examination, you will be given a question paper, which you have not seen before. Those input that are given input is the questions that are given to you in the question paper will belong to the same domain or will belongs to the same set of concepts, same set of chapters that you have prepared in the training. But it's not guaranteed that the question that you will get in your exam will be exactly similar to the training part. So what you will do based on your understanding, based on your concepts, you will use your model, which is what brain. And you will answer that questions. Now, once you answer those questions, it will go to your examiner. Your examiner will be having the actual answers or the answer key for the questions that you were having in exam. And examiner will compare your questions with the actual answers. And based on how much uh, on your answers matched with the actual answer key, you will get your results. If your results are very much accurate, like let's say you scored 95%. And there were 100 questions. That means out of 100, you solved 95 questions, correct? And there were five questions which were wrong. So that's the accuracy of your model. That is the brain. Same way machine learning algorithm work. In case of machine learning, you provide both input and output at the time of training. And you do validation. You check how accurate, how accurate your machine learning model is. And if that model is very much accurate, then you deploy those models. For example, uh, let's say if we talk about uh, any voice assistant like Siri, Alexa or Google Assistant. At the time of training, so many questions and so many answers were provided to those voice assistants. And when the engineers thought or the researchers thought that now the model is performing well, what they did, they deployed those into that, uh, into your machine or laptops, your mobiles, your iPad. And then they perform testing. When we are asking them any questions and then they are answering, then it is a testing process going on. And then based on the, in the testing, you will get your final accuracy, how much accurate these were. So guys, these are the concepts. This is how, this is what learning means. You learn from the input and output given to you, like why this out, specific output is coming. So from the set of input and output, you learn the logic your machine learning algorithm learn the logic just like we do. And then 
based on that logic, it performs at the time of testing and we check how accurate these models were. So guys, this is all about what is machine learning, how machine learning is different from conventional programming and what is this learning term in machine learning means. So guys, in the next lecture, uh, we will be talking about the data and different types of data. And I'll talk about the terminology that we will be using throughout this module. Okay. Thank you.